Imagine a world where every virtual machine was based off of, I don't know, one virtual machine. And when that world needed to change, the entire process of changing the world involved flushing the VMs and recreating them based off of some new master VM. Well, that kind of describes the concept of linked clones in VMware View 5. In fact, if you need to go about refreshing your VMs or even recomposing them with new software, you can do that with a couple of buttons inside of the View 5 console. Recently, I put together a training series for CBT Nuggets on VMware View 5, and I've pulled out this little micro nugget on the whole refresh and recompose actions to give you a look at the power you get when you move to linked clone VMs. There is actually one or three special commands that you can incorporate once you've got View Composer up and running that you can do with these special linked clone pools. And these are here under the View Composer button. The three commands are refresh, recompose, and rebalance. And although they don't have the three dots after them, each one of these will bring up a sort of a, a, a wizard that will appear for each. And each one is designed to serve a certain purpose. So the first is refresh, okay? From time to time, Windows machines, they just, they could use a refresh. And in fact, in a virtual environment, refreshing virtual machines is something you want to do, well, as often as you possibly can because well, when you refresh them, it puts them right back into their original state. And if you assume that, well, either you've made the proper connections so that your user's state data is preserved, or even if you're just throwing away the state data every time someone logs off, well, refreshing that pool essentially flushes all of the virtual, virtual machines and then recomposes or rebuilds those virtual machines from the original clone or from, from the original snapshot that was created. When you do that, you can schedule it here at some point in the future. Maybe I want to set that to 1.15 in the morning instead of 1.15 in the afternoon. Do I want to force users to log off or wait for them to log off? And then once I'm done, well, do I want to schedule the thing to go? When this happens, again, this is a refresh. So what I'm doing is taking my existing environment and taking all of those link clones out there and making them back to the way they were the very first time I created the pool. Really useful from time to time. Think about I don't know, you get some kind of virus attack and there's a virus on a bunch of machines. And, well, in the, the desktop world, in the physical world, well, you gotta go and get the virus off or rebuild all those computers in a very manual way. Here, if you get the virus, I can just rebuild those computers. I can just refresh them. And then that virus is gone because it wasn't on the original template that was created long, long ago. Now there is some situations, and probably more so the situation where maybe you've got some additional software you have to add into that virtual machine image. Uh, maybe you've got, oh, I don't know, you, you gotta apply some patches. Uh, you receive the Microsoft monthly patches, you wanna add them into the image. And then once they're into the image, you want to go ahead and reapply those patches out to all those clones. It is this second option here, recompose, that allows you to do that. So let me switch back here over to vc.company.pri for just a second. Let's assume that the monthly patches have come out. Okay, and there's four patches we have to apply. And so what I can do is from the snapshot of this virtual machine, I can power on the snapshot of this virtual machine, you know, power on the virtual machine at that snapshot. I can then uh, apply all the patches, add them in, do everything I need to do, reseal the template you know, doing the same uh, IP config release. And then once I'm done, take another snapshot. So if you remember that the, the original snapshot name associated with this computer was W7-template-S1. Well, let's call this S2. Okay, this is after the monthly patches. And so it's another snapshot that's available for use here with W7-template. So this S2 snapshot has different it has a different configuration than the S1. And all of these virtual machines are currently based off of the S1 version. Well, what Recompose does is it allows me to take the original parent VM, flush all of those virtual machines, and then regenerate them based off of the new snapshot. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.